Hey guys, this is Rick from Line 6, um, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to scan for VST plugins, specifically the PodFarm 2 plugin, in the latest version of Cubase. Uh, I'm running Cubase 5.5, I'm running Windows 7 64-bit Home Premium, um, and a lot of you guys have had questions on how to locate the PodFarm plugin, how to call it up on a track, uh, so on and so forth, so let's get into it. Uh, let's go ahead and launch Cubase. We're going to do that first. And I'm assuming, um, I'm going to proceed with this video assuming that you guys have downloaded the uh, PodFarm 2 software, um, which is downloadable from our software downloads page at line6.com. PodFarm 2 is a uh, paid uh, purchase uh, upgrade from PodFarm 1. So uh, if you'd like to buy it, you can visit our online store. So we're going to go ahead and create a new project in Cubase. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new audio track. And I'll just create a mono track for now. Okay. So <clears throat> the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that Cubase sees the PodFarm 2 VST folder uh, so that we are later able to pull it up in this little insert section over here in Cubase. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Devices. We're going to go down to Show Panel, and here in the, uh, the panel display, we want to select Plugin Information. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. Okay, so what we want to do first is call out our folder location for PodFarm 2. In order to do that, you want to click on VST 2.x Plugin Paths. As you can see, We've already scanned for the right folder location for PodFarm 2, um, but if you wanted to add it, you would just click Add, and it would open up a browser, and you could browse to the plugin location, as you can see here. So we're good there. We're going to click OK. Let's just go ahead and update. Oh. OK, looks like everything's good in Cubase as far as being able to see the PodFarm plugins, and as you can see, they're all listed here. So now we can close out of this, go back to our audio track in Cubase, and we want to click on the Inserts button here off to the left of the track, click inside the Insert section, scroll down to PodFarm 2, or any of the Line 6 plugins that you may want to pull up, any of these Element plugins, and just click on them. And there you go. PodFarm 2 instantiated on an audio track in Cubase 5.5 on Windows 7 64-bit Home Premium.